What's going on guys? Here we have the Tableau TV 4th Gen. We're going to do an unboxing, setup, and review. So this is the Tableau TV 4th Generation. It's got two built-in TV tuners, so you can record up to two live channels at the same time, or you can watch and record something at the same time. So you plug a antenna into this device and it sends that antenna signal to your iPad, Android, iPhone, any type of tablet uh, running Android or iOS, and you can stream it right on that device as well as record those streams. It's got a built-in 128 gigabytes of storage, but it's also got room for external storage. Let's go ahead, unbox it, and check it out. So inside the box, we have the Tableau itself. We've got a instruction manual. We have a ethernet cord. You can also use Wi-Fi if you don't want to use ethernet. And we have the power cable and power adapter. We also have some mounting screws and anchor to attach this into the wall or say a server room. Let's go ahead and set this device up. Taking a quick look at the back, we have um, areas to again mount that Tableau TV. We've got ventilation on the bottom. On the back here, we have the antenna input, USB for adding additional storage for the external hard drive. Ethernet connection for wired internet and the power adapter. So I'm going to go ahead, plug this in, and set it up. So again, the antenna connects here via coax, and we plug in our power adapter here. And once that is all hooked in, you'll see the device starts blinking blue. And now we grab our instruction manual and using our phone or tablet, we scan this QR code, which will basically take us to the app store to download the Tableau app. So you can see here, we've got the Tableau app pulled up in the Apple app store. We're gonna go ahead and download it now. And once the app has finished installing, we're gonna go ahead and tap to launch. I'm gonna go ahead and create an account now. All right, so once you've gone ahead and registered, it's gonna send you a registration code to your email. Go ahead and type in that code. Okay, once you've got that registration code entered, we're gonna hit next. Network setup. We're gonna allow it to find our network. Go ahead and click yes. And this is a quick overview of what's gonna happen here. Uh, we've gone ahead, set up the antenna. We're gonna set up the internet, and then it's gonna do a channel scan to see what channels are available on that antenna. Go ahead and hit next. Yep. So our antenna is connected. I'm gonna skip the mounting and allow it to see our location. Click next. This will tell you where to point your antenna, which direction. I've gone ahead, set up my antenna, all those things. My antenna is actually set up on my roof. We're gonna now set up with um, Wi-Fi. Hit continue. Now we're gonna go to our device's Wi-Fi and look for the Tableau device. There is Tableau 51A1. Yours might look slightly different, but it will start with Tableau. Once that is connected, we're gonna back out, go back to the Tableau app, and now it's connecting to our Tableau. It has automatically found our Wi-Fi network. Use that network and enter the password. And if you notice on our Tableau device here, the LED is blinking. And once it becomes solid, it'll be ready for use. And now it's gonna ask us to update the firmware. We're gonna go ahead and start update. This may take a few minutes. All right, now the last step for setup is to start our channel scan. 
And this is just going to scan for what channels are available in our area with our antenna. All right, so this little device with our antenna has picked up 120 channels. That's awesome. We're going to save and continue. It's going to save our channel lineup. And because this device is also connected to Wi-Fi or the internet, it's going to give us TV guide information. So it'll let us know what's playing, what's coming up, um, things like that. All right, the internet guide has been downloaded. Now we're gonna go ahead and start using Tableau. So I've gone ahead and used the Tableau device for some time now, and I've gotten to get used to the app. Um, I think it can be very useful if you want to record live TV, as well as take around your tablet to say the kitchen, a bath, something like that, and watch live TV. So launching the app, this is the home screen in the center. It's gonna recommend you know, the most popular thing at the top. It's gonna to suggest things for you here. It's gonna show your recent recordings, live upcoming sports, just you know, headline stuff right here. If you want to watch live TV, you tap this here, and this is your TV guide with full live TV information. If you wanna watch, say, this here, you just tap it. You can record, watch live or you can also choose to record it. With that said, if you wanted to watch this in the future and record it, you can also tap record and it will record it in the future and it will show up in your library. So let's go ahead, watch this live. So quality is great. I think it's excellent. You know, audio's fine. Everything about it sounds great. You can pause it, go to the restroom, come back, press play, and it will resume. You can also go backwards 20 seconds and play from there. Um, obviously, if you pause it and it continues to play, you can also fast forward 30 seconds. So again, great for live TV, works really seamlessly. Um, so this is also, this is popular NFL football. We're going to record this here and we can watch it live at the same time as well So again quality is really good No problems at all with the quality So I'm gonna stop recording don't record and now if we want to check out our library of recorded things they all come up right here. So I stopped that recording. It will take, I would say like, you know, two, three minutes to show up here, but this is what I have in my past recordings. Tap it, and you should just pick up right there. Again, quality, very good, pretty seamless. And here is that game we've recorded. And if we keep scrolling down, we can um, you know, access these menus where we can get more granular results of our library, but we can also check out our recording space. For more detailed information about the space, you can tap on the settings icon here, and it'll tell you how many gigs are remaining. So that is a quick overview for the Tableau TV device. My internet connection at my house is really good. I also have 100 down and up. That's pretty standard. That's, I wouldn't say that's extremely great or anything, but my Wi-Fi at my house is really good. Um, so keep that in mind. If your Wi-Fi is not the best, this might not be, you know, it might take some more time to buffer. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below for the Tableau device. For the best connection, wire this into your ethernet. You probably won't see any problems with it at all. Again, if you're interested in the Tableau, check out that link down below for the device. Please hit that thumbs up button if you found the video helpful, subscribe, leave any comments down below. If you have any questions on this Tableau, let me know what you guys are recording um, on it, and then I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.